question 17, we're given a function with an unknown quantity C, which is a real number. And we want to know what values of C give this function three distinct x-intercepts. I'll show you a feature uh, on the TI Inspire that can help you. They're called sliders. You may have not seen them before. But they're ways in which you can input a variable into a graph so you can play with that variable and see what it does to the graph. So if you go to a graphing page and let's enter our function x cubed minus 3x squared plus c, we get nothing because we have not told the calculator what c is. Let's tell it what c is. If you go down to insert slider, what you have here is a way of changing the value of a variable for a graph. So we're going to change it. it has V1 there for variable 1. Let's change that to C. There we are. We now have a slider which we can adjust the value of and we can see what that does to the graph. And you can see that at C equals 0. So at C equals 0, you can see the curve touch and turn and then go up like that. So it only has two x-intercepts at c equals 0. There's c equals 1, c equals 2, c equals 3, c equals 4, c equals 5. Have a play around. You can adjust a bunch of uh, numbers here, but we don't need to because we can see what's happening. Because at c equals 0, we have two x-intercepts. When we move up, we have three x-intercepts, three x-intercepts, three x-intercepts. And at c equals 4, we're back to 2. So just by playing with sliders, you should be able to see that the answer must be this interval d. Because we're not including 0 and 4, because 0 and 4 have two x-intercepts. And we're including everything in between. So the answer there is d.